Hello and welcome to Meanwhile back on the hobby farm. Check out this. I am dirty. Huh? Dirty. Been working around the uh, homestead all day. Gotta go do my overnight gig tonight. Check out those grapes, baby. Hey, been busy today. Done a lot of work. I took down that temporary fence with the rope. I thought the three strings was going to keep the dogs out. Ha ha ha. Who the heck was I kidding? Dogs were coming in the, uh, not on the plants, but going in my walkways and leaving me little presents every day. So, ha ha, goat fenced it up. I put some goat fence all the way around. I boxed in these pu uh, pumpkins because uh, they're just, they're going great. Like I said many times before, I didn't even plant these things. They just came up on their own from the rotted pumpkins. But anyway, as you can see, I put a fence all around here. Not the too sturdy. I, uh, the dogs aren't going to knock it over. My dogs aren't climbing. It's got more pumpkins over there. Oh, look what I got over here today. I picked these babies up, and I'm going to plant them when I am done. Ah, sweet basil. Check that baby out. I was at Tractor Supply this morning, and um, lo and behold... Uh, I think I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to plant these babies. I uh, saw them. They were on the discounted uh, rack for, I believe they were $7 each. And I got them for $2 each because I told them, hey, it's off season. You haven't watered them today. So they gave them to me. Hey, those two pots right there, by the end of the summer, I, I'll probably turn it around into a, so a $4 investment. is probably going to bring me probably about... $200 uh, once I uh, I harvest those uh, leaves and bag them up for tea. Keep nothing like uh, sweet basil tea. Check out that. It's growing great. I just cut that, what, a week and a half ago? And uh, that's my lemon bomb. But everything is going good. Tomatoes are starting to fill up again. And I am so ecstatic about my, uh, my fence that I put up. And, of course, while I was uh, doing the fence up, I just happened to look over. Something caught my eye way on the other side over there okay as you can see right there there's a fence that goes all the way down the hill to the water well my goats were over there and there's nothing really stopping them except a barbed wire fence which is only three strands with grumpy old neighbor and i don't want them going over there because the guy's an egghead so I got diverted from my fence building skills and spend an hour over there reinforcing, driving some more T-post in and doing some zip tying and what have you. And uh, But I've been busy. Things are going good. Um, I'm going to pick some blueberries here just before I go in today because I'm going to put those in my water that I have. And uh, mm, those are good. And everything is going good. Like I said, the uh, look at the milk thistles doing great. Everything is going great. Life is good on the homestead. Hey, I just noticed something here. I am. Um, looks like the mailman's been here today. Hmm. I wonder what's in here. Well, would you look at that? The mailman delivered me some coffee. Oh, I think I'll have a drink. That's awesome. I'm telling you, I like my mailman. Well, um, yeah, mailman, mail woman. Hey, postal care, postal worker. Get it? Fence posts, that was bad. What else? Oh, look. Wow. That must be a FedEx. Send me a cucumber. That's awesome. A cucumber or a coffee. Man, I like this. This is better than the mailboxes out by the road. All I get over there is bills. Oh, looks like we've got a letter in here. And let's see. Let's uh, put these flags back in here. And let's see. I'm going to open it up here. I'm going to just kind of put it in the milk thistle and open this up and... Oh boy, I goofed. It's it's a reminder that I had a contest last year and Melissa Frazier, who I went to school with, and Drake it, we graduated in 80. Holy cow, that was a long time ago. Had won some jam and I never mailed it to her. Um, found a note on that the other day and I'm like, oh boy, Melissa, I promise I'm going to send it, but you don't want last year's. Even though it's still just as yummy, it stays good for about 10 years. I'm going to send you two jars of fresh grape jam. The grapes are right there. Hey, grapes, you listening? When I'm picking you, remind me, Melissa, two jars of grape jam, okay? I'm over, almost a year overdue. I told her, I think, last September. It was September, I promised her that she would win it. And she didn't, so I'm going to send it. The other note that I have over here on my uh, letter that my uh, garden... Postal carrier send me. 
was, I don't even know if I told him, I think I told my cousin, but I was going to send a meanwhile back on the hobby farm t-shirt, the bright yellow shirt, to my aunt Lee, my favorite aunt in the whole wide world, my mommy's baby sister, who just had a birthday, I believe yesterday, 85 years old, 85 years young, she looks younger than I do. Um, she kind of helped raise me when my dad was sick when I was younger, and she uh, always has a special place in my heart. So I don't even know if I told her, but I did get the address from my cousin Joanne, who she she lives with in Arizona. And I promised that probably about four months ago that I was going to send a shirt out. I promise that shirt's going out this week. I promise. I still have the address, Joanne. Aunt Lee, if I didn't tell you about it, you're getting your own, meanwhile, back on the Hobby Farm shirt. The only thing I ask is have Joanne take a picture of you wearing it. I would love to uh, to see you uh, wearing my uh, garden appell. But anyway, so hey, the mailman's been pretty good over here today. I'm, You know, I got these reminder letters and cucumbers and a cup of coffee and... Then I'm out here and look at these blueberries I gotta pick out here and I'm never gonna get a bed before my uh, my thing. My son wants to go magnet fishing in these kayaks on Sunday. So I'm gonna be a busy little boy. Um, check this out, this is my favorite spot. I was taking breaks today right underneath the arbors, the, the grape arbors. Check that out, huh? Is that awesome or what? Boy, do I have an awful lot of grapes this year. I got a chicken over there, I see over there. Hey, how you doing there, Houdini? That's the escape chicken. But uh, everything is going good. We're going to come over here in the um, pallet pub, which is a mess. And uh, see what we got going on over here. I put, we got one fan there, and we got two fans. One over there. And look at, look at the breeze on that. Huh? Those things will be completely dry. They've only been there for, what, not even 24 hours? And uh, let's see how they're drying. Uh, I mean, they're still moist and stuff, but they're going to be... Uh, Takes a while for those. There's a lot of oil in those, in those leaves that are going into the leaves still from the stems as it's drying. So it'll be about another five days. I'll be harvesting uh, all of those things. The peppermint seems to be the one that dries. That's. I mean, it's already crispy over here. It's already crispy. I mean, that's amazing. Um, that seems to dry up. The uh, apple mint and the uh, the uh, catnip tend to because they're thicker leaves and thicker stems takes a while they got a lot more oils but uh, that's about it I ended up using this today my peppermint oil I'm gonna start selling it actually I'm gonna make some labels this week and weekend and I'm going to actually sell uh, sell it as a mosquito um, tick repellent uh, with a disclaimer on it that I'm not a doctor and I'm not a scientist and I'm not like Dr. Fahushi or whatever his name is there that changes his mind on masks and vaccinations every other day. Um, no disclaimer from me. I'm just going to tell you, you can use it for repellent for mosquitoes, which I did. I didn't get bit at all today. Um, see one of my hammers on the ground over there. ADHD there, huh? squirrel up in the tree. But no, I'm going to sell some of that and uh, with my own specialty labels on it. And Because uh, I guess a lot of people are telling me mosquitoes are really bad. Um, I have no problems with the mosquitoes. Um, well, because of my peppermint oil. But that's it. Going back to that. Look at that fence post. Isn't that awesome, huh? Nothing fancy, but you know what? Keeps the dogs out from leaving me little presents. I only like the presents that the mailman gives me over there in my mailbox. And uh, that's it, folks. Hey, have a great weekend. I know everybody's probably going to go camping, relaxing, having a good time. Yours truly, this is my Monday. Huh. My week starts on Friday night. Um, and ends on Tuesday night. So I'll think of you and think of me while you are uh, relaxing on the beach with a cold one in your hand. Uh, think of yours truly, who's, I was going to say working hard. I don't work hard. I don't work at all, hardly. Um, it's boring. Hey, take care, folks. Hey, do me a favor. I always forget I'm supposed to do this at the beginning of my videos. The experts tell me that I have half a million viewers. Hit the subscribe button. I'm going to, I've been trying to learn how to put a pop-up one that automatically pops up at the beginning of the video and then maybe in the middle. Please hit that subscribe button on the bottom right. It'll be right over there once it's on YouTube. Thanks, folks. Hey, be good, be kind, be nice.